Where'd you go, Fia? Where'd he go? Let's make sure he didn't go down the steps. Front. I'm gonna make sure we're still alive. Let's see if we we are alive or not. Yes, we are. Nice, gang. I'm just gonna go make sure Via's uh, okay. Our little kitty cat. Uh, he was here and then he disappeared. Where'd he go? He wouldn't have gone down the steps. I'm just gonna check a little corner here. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, there he is. <laughs> There's so many places for them to hide. He just went over there. You'll see him come around. Maybe he's gonna. He's got a little place that he goes over there. Let's see if you can see him. Do you see him? You don't see him. Let's check it out. You want to see where he is? Let's check. Third aggression, how are you doing? See the white over there? The, over there, he just crawled there. That's him right there. You shouldn't be anyway. I think so. Let's check it out. Is it? No, no, he's way over on this side. There he is. See that? He's like right there. It's like a jungle here for him, right? These BC uh, shot ads are ridiculous. I haven't seen them. I don't. I don't really see ads, brother. Uh, I don't. Uh, I got ad blocks. <laughs> I run ad blocks on every every browser that I that I use. Uh, everywhere that I go, it's uh, any website is all ad blocks, right? I have no desire to uh, be propagandized to, even though I have ads. Uh, Rolled on. Hedgy UK, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Tier 1 sub. They've subscribed for 13 months. <laughs> There's like animal sounds and stuff around here. Fun. I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you guys are having a good time. And by the way, they can't do shot uh, ads because they have to reveal um, <laughs> the the effects right chico chu tv how are you doing chico chu tv welcome to another live stream it's been like two weeks since we had a live stream third question can't go to movie theater they say you need a uh, passport i only got to go to a few movies in the first time in a long time i'll just stream a movie at home on one two three movies i'll just you know I'm old school uh, so I still like pirates <laughs> my new name is still confusing hedgy UK hedgehog little hedgehog from what I understand from what hedgy UK elder aka elder God has told me it's a it's a great nickname because it's uh, uh, hedgehogs are nice and cute but they're pointy things sticking out of right cheryl how are you doing i knew you were gonna pop in for a for a garden patio stream what's happening all hello hello two weeks two weeks we haven't done a stream wow 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 two weeks two weeks that's a long time that's one of the long that's probably the longest break i've uh, taken it wasn't really a break but uh, taken since i started streaming you are the Mr. Clean Man, but with a beard. Haha. <laughs> Bojo Master. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another live stream. Eat cacti live. Haha. <laughs> nice. What type of cacti? What type of cacti? Little buttons? Little peyote buttons? I'm, I don't have any peyote growing. 
I got the we got tobacco we're gonna harvest some this is the stuff we're gonna harvest gang we got some tobacco here I got some tobacco here okay this is tobacco I got like three four pots of tobacco uh, we're gonna harvest some cannabis and I got some hops that I'm gonna pick I'm just gonna show you the hops we got some tomatoes of course we're gonna picking tomatoes left and right Joe Chicho Live. My sister has a hedgehog. Very spiky, very spiky, but very cute, very cute, very cute. Use all your head muscles for that. What happened there? How them liqueurs? Liqueurs are doing good. We haven't been participating too much in liqueurs. I don't know why. Uh, we've had a little bit. We've had guests every now and then. So when we get the guests, I say, "Hey, what type of liqueur do you want?" And you know sometimes we have one or two sometimes we go let's sample a few <laughs> so they are going down but it's not every day that we're sampling right but they're good they're good i only made one new batch this this year and it was uh cherries i made another cherry one i think it was cherries anyway total recall vibes on two weeks haha <laughs> third aggression i got a selection of old spice deodorant i actually got one that says alpine it it has hemp seeds sativa uh sativa cannabis oil in it cool 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 who makes it third aggression kyle parker how are you doing hey chicho thank you for being a voice of reason during a time when misinformation is so prevalent it's crazy it's crazy the black tri star and you guys as well Chicho reminds me of Serge Dangan from System of Down. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a usual occurrence. Yeah, and I I do like System of Down. I wrote an article, do Chicho C H Y C H O, and then System of Down review, and a review I wrote about their music in 2006, I believe, should be one of the top hits that you get. If it's not change your browser because that browser sucks or change your search engine because that search engine sucks right so it should be one of the top it's it's a good review i spent a long time putting it together looping their music left and right left and right birdie here what's up are you having a um a fuel shortage in canada uh just uh, here no no we're good here prices have gone up there's inflation there's no doubt inflation of the yin yang of course uh and inflation can be measured in multiple different ways uh but no fuel shortage because um uh, the uk the fuel shortage to a certain degree is uh it's not a natural occurrence it's uh f the the markets are creating it right uh so it's it is what it is and if you remember a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago or whatever, a year and a half ago, a year ago, I mentioned that uh, there was a few different sectors. People were asking me, what sectors would you invest in if you were in Wall Street? I go, well, for me, I like, I like cannabis. The cannabis hasn't been doing well. There's food stocks. Food stocks, some have been doing well, right? Some not so much. And the third sector, the third and fourth sector, I mentioned that, you know, you'd be putting a ton of money into it would be, if you were into it, right, you would divvy it up a third a third a third right those are the sectors i would have gone into right um and, but the oil sector has shot through the roof some of those uh they're making mint man some of those companies have gone up like tenfold uh in the last year right they've gone from like six dollars to fifty dollars you know eight dollars to thirty two dollars fourfold uh, it is what it is but when things start going vertical it's time to shirt the shit out of them, right? <laughs> mango liqueur? No, I haven't done mango liqueur. Love mangoes, though. Love mangoes, though. I comment. Uh, I commented your resemblance on one of your videos many, many years ago. Which one? Do you remember? <laughs> it's probably me going hardcore. Uh, Chico Chu TV. Uh, only me and Moz can. Uh, link provide links do you remember uh toxicity i love that album the toxicity of ours uh, oh man i used to know most of the lyrics a lot of toxicity of our society not society uh i forget 
I forget. Yeah, toxicity is really good. Pot is a uh, third aggression. You're saying pot is expensive. A gram of cannabis in the 1980s cost you anywhere between 10 to 15 dollars. A gram of cannabis in 2021 costs you anywhere between 6 to 15 dollars. Okay. So you can decide if it's expensive or not. Okay, comic books, I'll give you a, something you can measure it to. Comic books in the 1980s were anywhere between, let's say, 85 cents. 85 cents. Comics, comic books now, in my part of the world, 85 cents. Comic books now, uh, in 2021, are about six and a half, seven dollars, right? 85 cents, seven dollars, right? Eat cacti. You can eat cacti just without the needles. It's uh, common where I live. Uh, search for uh, Napolitos. Napolitos. Yeah. Cacti is huge moisture. It's good. There are certain cacti that you can dry the buttons and pop. Peyote. I believe it was one of your comic books. Comic books. Okay. Cool, cool. Maybe it was uh, showing you my comic book collection. Yeah, yeah, toxicity of our city. <laughs> Gang, let me show you what's going on. Let me show. Oh, hold on. Let me do my quick intro. Uh, by the way, thank you for the follows, uh, gang. I saw a couple of follows pop up. If you want to follow this work, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and i appreciate it i appreciate the support very much we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live C H Y C H O L I V E. if you want to participate in the chat that pops up here today twitch is where you want to be at and gang for those of you who support this work on twitch thank you very much for the support and moz thank you for taking care of business ship me some samples haha <laughs> richard hagen <laughs> fun canada easy shipping legal no worries cross borders not so much not so much how old are you you look like you look about 35 uh add another 20. <laughs> cannabis keeps you young uh, this is just uh, not recommending by the way i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gap parlor bit clout and getter and we also have a discord page where there's a lot of people discord oops discord a lot of people popping in sharing a lot of information so you're welcome to join us on a discord page and we have a few different channels that uh, folders that you can participate in discussion hong kong should be ha hard to imagine hong kong would be hard to imagine to ship shipping most places would be hard to imagine lyrics are conflicts haha <laughs> stream is a joke not mine i don't know i'm not sure what you're referring to third aggression but boop. for live streams well, we're not going to be moving around and we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be over in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we're gonna keep it sensor proof for this stream because we're doing a current events live stream tomorrow and tomorrow we're gonna go live live i'm gonna go hard hard but today we're gonna keep it in the live stream where we can upload the audio not audio but the live stream to sensor to to Pichu, to rumble to odyssey at least for most of the stream unless we get down to or is the end something comes up that we can't load on to sensor to beep, then we'll just say we can't load it on and talk about it right laugh out loud box hey chicho i have a question what whatever happened to your game collection my game collection which game collection like console gamings and stuff i have a board board game collection that i still have i have we still have uh huge i'm gonna take this down uh, a lot of video game i got consoles and stuff like this um we don't have the original sega or 
we don't have the original Sega system we bought from the 1990s but we do have the maybe we do have the original Sega system I have bought extra Sega systems and extra uh, N64 systems uh, but we do have the original one of the ones we have is the original N64 right crap shoot crap shoot and gang don't forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on censor 2 Sega Saturn haha <laughs> nice our family used to with Sega Saturn we don't have anymore it's not part of it Sega Dreamcast no no we used to have the Sega Dreamcast not Sega Saturn Dreamcast was one that came out in uh, early 2000s, right? Ooh. <laughs> That's a wasp. <laughs> that scared me. I thought I did, uh, earlier today was a spider that came down like this. So I was like, oh my god. Uh, that's a lot box. You had a video a long time ago about some console and video games with, with sheets, uh, with scores about the games. Um, the board games then oh yeah 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 I showed that there's uh, three videos out where um, I showed my, my video game collection and that uh, we went through it took three three days to go through my video game collection I didn't realize we had that many but uh, we went through it I still have them and I, we made that video a couple of years ago super cool super cool is Assange still alive he is but he's being tortured okay Cool data. What do you think is potential for hempcrete as building material? Hempcrete. Oh, hemp concrete. I, you know what? I don't know how. Like for example, lumber. I believe you can go up to six stories and build a uh, a tall six-story tall building just using lumber, right? But I think above in Canada, anyway, in my part of the world, above that you need concrete, right? So. I don't know I, I don't know the strength measurements of hempcrete I, I don't know but I know hemp is extremely like as building material it's amazing it's amazing I'm not sure how well it competes with uh, concrete though okay because with concrete I'm, I'm assuming with hempcrete we put the rebar in there too so it should be fine better than the tofu structures in China <laughs> right <laughs> watch that too uh, i am guessing okay omnifet omnifet how are you doing welcome to the live stream would love a video game stream me too me too at some point we will we sort of got thrown for a loop uh covering some current event that need to be uh covered right we've got to be on the right side of history by the way gang i went quince harvesting god some quince been eating making quince food um and I made some quince jam. This is some quince jam. Super delicious, super delicious. Tart. Okay. Quince jam. It breaks it breaks down fairly rapidly. Okay. And quince uh, meals with like uh, in a platter with apples and potatoes and stuff like this with meat. Oh, so good, so good. This is amazing. Quince jam is the bomb. It's fantastic. discussion what do you think about cartels and the cjng we are ruthlessly killing so many people yeah uh, gangs do hey 666 i thought hemp crete makes it stronger does it that would be super cool i i don't like well we know they took hemp out of the markets and the in the United States war against hemp in the early 1900s right uh, and that was on behest of the oil companies and like all these different industries because hemp is amazing amazing you're okay enough yet nice nice Joe Chicho are you back teaching mathematics yeah and one reason it took us two weeks uh, I sort of had to take a two-week break because I got overwhelmed with the number of students that came in this year usually we start off slow 
at the beginning of September when I when my students come in because they go to school slow mo right this year I was getting tons of requests at, at the end of August setting up times I was like whoa what's going on so I had a lot of students come in uh, at the beginning of September that I had to manage their schedule right so I had to move things around so I couldn't really set anything in terms of live streams uh, crazy busy Lava lockbox. My country almost fully opened again after a corona pandemic. Uh, almost no more restriction. Awesome. Are you in Denmark? Uh, Norway? Uh, where are you at? Lava lockbox. Thou shalt not kill. Amazing. Quince jam. Scandinavia. Nice. Mm -hmm. Are you Croatia? Where you're prime minister is a prime minister or president came out and said 50 percent is good enough starsky how are you doing yo chicho how's it going ironically i'm smoking on some uk haze nice what a coincidence what a coincidence edgy three dropping oh yeah this is our schedule by the way gang we're doing dropping math oh yeah we're doing a we're doing this today which is basically harvesting some cannabis we should start actually harvesting some cannabis tobacco and hops we'll do uh, tobacco and hops first uh, because that way when my fingers get sticky we can just stick with the with the cannabis we're going to take down one plant i got four plants here this is one okay here's another one we're allowed four plants in canada here's another one back here okay and we're going to take down this one okay as far as the cannabis plants goes we got uh pk purple kush this is purple kush okay this one is a love bug this one is a love bug okay that's what they call it this is cbd straight out cbd okay so one to one thc cbd and the kitty cats we had the tags in the pots and the kitty cats you like sleeping in the pots and i can't find the tag anymore so i forget what this one is <laughs> the kitty cats lost the lost the tag and only this one is ready for harvesting okay I'll show you the buds when uh, closer up. Uh, these ones, we know they're they're ready for harvesting when they start getting about 50%, 40 to 60%, but 40%, 50% um, red hairs, right? Browning of the of the bud. And this is about about ready. This could go for another couple of days, but uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I wanna, you know, cover the three that we have here, uh, protect it from the rain and take down this one right so i don't want you don't want uh, your buds to get wet because this is flower right and rain sort of destroys flowers right so we're going to take down uh this one okay have you ever had any joe cheryl cheryl one of the farmers i've worked with did a hemp maze this year instead of a corn maze apparently a few did i hope to get to see it hemp don't like the food mazes but hemp is mazes for uh, animal feed uh, feedstock isn't it cheryl so they're making it for the animals if i'm correct joe chicho have you ever had any students who contact you for math classes after watching your videos i've, I've had some yeah 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 i've had some but usually uh, i barely advertise man it's word of mouth like once i've been established and i did change cities like six years ago so i had to slowly get established here as well but now that i'm established here word of mouth carries it right uh, so in general uh, i don't really look for too many clients aside from people recommending me uh, and i do work with a school that's uh you know i work with uh, I have a lot of students on on the spectrum everybody's on a spectrum really but I have a lot of students on a spectrum and uh, uh, I'm just good at uh, uh, I sort of specialize um, teaching mathematics to those who do not fit inside the box and since the box is getting smaller and smaller uh, my clientele is getting bigger and bigger so it's a sort of a niche it's not a niche market because teaching mathematics is extremely important it's super uh, 
like needed in our society because as far as I'm concerned it's probably one of the worst taught languages in the Western world worst taught courses in the Western world so if you're by the way gang if you're um, wanna get into a business it's not a recommendation of personal finance or anything but the world is in desperate need of math educators okay so Cheryl uh, not maze oh I so maze maze labyrinth like a maze oh my god so maze feedstock is m-a-i-z-e and m-a-z-e is labyrinth a seasonal touristy thing oh very cool Cheryl so they built them also oh, from co from they built they grew hemp so because corn again if you've ever walked into a cornfield once it goes above your eyesight you're lost you got no sense of direction right so it looks like they built a maze as because hemp can grow like for example this one is fairly short this cannabis plant this one is very tall this one this is the smaller stock here's the bigger stock i don't know if i can bring it over check out the bigger can you see it check out the thicker stock it's pretty tall right and th this is like straight up uh, you know, for cannabis for the flower a hemp is for uh, more like seeds I believe and as well as uh, building supplies and textiles and you can make clothes from it and stuff like this so hemp has huge industrial use right it's not just for the flower or the uh, medicinal purpose right so a huge uh, so they built a maze with hemp very cool very cool Hedgy, the cannabis acts permits adults to cultivate up to four cannabis plants per household not per person in, in, indeed that's canada some provinces and territories have applied added restrictions on personal cultivation there are recommended safety and security measures for growing cannabis plants yeah in canada you're allowed four uh, per household which is sort of stupid because what if you have eight people living in that household versus one person in another household right so it's not fair at some point it's going to be uh, challenged right uh, but you're allowed four plants uh, per household and they can't be you can't see them from uh, the street so they can't be on your front lawn they need to be in your back lawn or somewhere where they can't they can't be visible uh, they're not visible uh, by the public general public walking by uh, sort of wacko restrictions like that um um fiat fiat i have watched a video about hormones these affect our daily lives a oh, lot indeed need more doctors in canada need more everything in canada except bureaucrats and politicians <laughs> we got way too many of those astro sweet and sweat haha <laughs> hello hello long time brother hi chicho i see you do the defoliate technique for outside grow as well yeah are you familiar with the grow weed easy site with a gardener named nabula hayes no no i don't know uh, is this what it's called defoliate what's it called again defoliate technique yeah so we took down the bottom stuff and let the energy go to the top right cheryl this farmer has some fields for cbd ah cool and some for fiber i will definitely post photos if we uh, get to go awesome that'd be fantastic hemp hemp should be one the number one crop for many countries many countries bakudada hemp was core ingredient of ropes and textiles in egypt three thousand years ago hemp was a core ingredient of ropes and textiles in the united states uh, it, it during world war one up to during and after a little bit after the world war one and then after world war one the oil industry took over and they basically um, lobby to criminalize hemp and hemp became illegal so uh, there used to be ads on uh, the united states they used to say hemp won the war uh first world war uh and then they made it illegal the first two people they threw threw in jail uh 
in the first iteration of the war on drugs were two white farmers for growing hemp right hemp paper manufacturing was also popular indeed and hemp papers last a long time long time well money third aggression money gang let me show you i'm going to show you tobacco first watch this we got lots of stuff falling down i got tobacco plants so i'm going to move around a little bit do you use uh, nutri uh nutrition for something yeah yeah we fed them uh with um uh, there's organic stuff that we bought one of them was uh, it was sort of uh, fish juice i guess so we fed them a little bit of fish juice and another one was uh, um I forget what the other one was some kind of organic food that we we're giving up and we we're giving up to all our plants like the tomatoes as well like this is getting towards the end of the tomato we've been eating lots of tomatoes for a few months now super delicious super delicious astro sweat we grew four but they were huge we used a technique that basically laid the main trunk down uh, uh, on a side branches down and the side branches and the side branches were like individual plants so you trimmed it you made it go wide right last harvest was close to eight pounds dry weight <laughs> you guys were not growing in pots you guys were growing in the ground right astro if i was growing in the ground for sure you could grow a lot bigger in pots you know we don't have huge pots like this is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable haha -ha. is it is it is it it's got seeds so it's, i think it's considered to be a fruit right uh, check this out our tobacco plants take a look this is the big one i'll show you the the one we've trimmed down a little bit harvested some of the beans And I'll show you them dried, right? Greetings, Dr. P. We were growing hybrid, a hybrid, hydroponic, hydroponic. Nice. Take a look at this. And it's flowering, right? So we're going to be able to get seeds from this. And the seeds that I grew this tobacco from were seeds that we harvested like eight years ago or something, right? So these guys will become seed pods. You get a lot of seeds, right? So this is one of them. We've already harvested a lot of the leaves. another one here this is tobacco as well okay and tobacco mushrooms love tobacco this one's a little heavy so no I'm not gonna lift it up it's too heavy but there's lots of mushrooms here okay and here's the other one and we're gonna harvest I'm just gonna pick a, uh, some leaves from this one okay take a look at this one nice I've harvested a few leaves from this, right? We're gonna pick some leaves from this. Okay. And let me show you before we pick the leaves. And it's very leathery. Okay. Very leathery. This is what we do with it. Take a look. So you bundle it up, right? So this is from this plant, I think. You pick it, I wash it, right? And then just bundle it up and hang it right and it's very leathery and it's pretty tough right namaste namaste right and i think the meaning of that i looked it up no miste no miste is uh um i see you i think something like this is a greeting right so take a look it's very leathery right let's see The sun shining on it see that it's very leathery we had some uh, nicotina they grew really well nicotina I don't know nicotina right so and then here's another one that's a little bit more dried right these these leaves were bigger than these leaves so here's another one that's more dried right 
still needs to be hung longer for it to dry so we started har harvesting the leaves early on right here's a smaller one right and then when they dry whoop, whoop, come here let me put this here when they dry put them in a jar right in sort of bundles right here's one that's and there's some random ones here right so you want it to be sort of we do it anyway i'm not sure we're not really curing it the way tobacco should be cured like we're not doing a cuban style just drying enough just to have say we grew tobacco and half tobacco right as a sort of a treat if anybody because i don't smoke if anybody wants to smoke say hey we got our tobacco have some tobacco and it's good to have tobacco right so let's just take down a couple of leaves here And I just pinch them off, right? Let's do a couple of big ones too. Let's see? I'm just gonna pick enough to make a couple more bundles. Micro twist. I worked at that bank for 13 years here in Stockholm. That then one day my brain just snapped and i ended up in the psych ward for eight months i forgot everything now i work at ikea as a janitor wow micro to a serious how do you how do you feel do you like it do you like being uh, at ikea working in the bank i wouldn't be into it man a bank would be drive me nuts like it would it would it would be crazy side benefit was the plants repelled aphids uh uh, from that part of garden really is this the uh, the nicotina uh, astro more relaxing micro twist nice yeah way more relaxing than a bank i was assuming something you don't know chicho i am not left-handed anyone want a peanut <laughs> plant is very leathery like it's got a leathery feel to it so nicotina repels it cool 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 I'm gonna go pick some from that one as well okay So I'll put this bundle together later. Okay. Cool. Let me show you the, I just want to show you the, the hops. Okay, they're on the stairs. I'll, I'll be picking those later, later on today because it's supposed to rain for the next four days. And if it rains, it's going to destroy the hops, right? So I'm going to go today and harvest a whole bunch of hops. But we harvested some hop, hops last year. Okay. Let me show you these. Super cool. Super cool. Baku Dada. There have been a fair few cannab uh, cannabis cars using hemp bioplastic for car body hemp as it's a biofuel. Very cool. So bodies hemp and the fuels hemp. Very cool. Vikings. Vikings? Vikings V. My Vikings 15. Vikings? 
is it legal to grow tobacco anywhere or just uh, certain states like Can uh, like um, I'm in Canada and in Canada we're allowed to grow tobacco uh, which is fantastic we should be able to right Cheryl does anyone remember who either work or live near tobacco fields uh, was it uh, grow forest I don't know I don't remember is it just outright tobacco should be uh, should be legal anywhere and I think one of the uh, reasons that uh, cannabis became legal because people made the argument that if you can grow tobacco you should be able to grow cannabis right Astro next season I would like to see if uh, nicotina will protect the cannabis from spider mice ah oh, did you get spider mice we haven't got them that was great that we didn't get them I watched them pretty closely though fat fate wish you a good stream stay stay tuned awesome hope you have a fantastic day and remember two more days we're gonna stream uh, current events tomorrow mathematics dropping our first school year math drop and tutoring session nice 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 L A O G. ever heard of um, organ generators yeah for sure Wilhelm Reich yeah I've uh, I'm reading through one of his books I got stuck at a at a chapter I'm reading through uh, mass psychology of fascism Wilhelm Reich so I've, I've researched Wilhelm Reich a fair bit hemp versus weed hemp is uh, industrial it's not the THC content bare minimum uh, and what was the other one hemp versus weed weed is generic term weed is anything is weed I would say uh, the cannabis plant is encompasses hemp and uh, cannabis plant I forget what the word is for that contain higher levels of THC Your tiredness, thank you. My pleasure, Fiat. Hedgy cannabis is uh, illegal to possess, grow, distribute, or sell in the UK. Is it still? Damn, it is a class B drug with penalties for unlicensed dealing, unlicensed production, and unlicensed trafficking of up to 14 years in prison and unlit an unlimited fine or both Pfft, crazy crazy just imagine the lives they destroy and the United States is still considered in the federal level still considered class one same level as heroin the insanity of it right anybody that's still on that mindset should 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 be put in an insane asylum right they they're senile right they're they, they they lost their mind a long time ago right astro where does one get tobacco seeds i would like to try to do a nicotina extract for, uh, for maybe i don't know we i i i got the tobacco seeds from uh, i was th living in a house with uh, a really good friend and they were growing it and they got tobacco uh, they they got they harvested tobacco got seeds gave me some seeds and this is the seeds um that I got my tobaccos growing from, right? LA, great. Apparently, they help out with plants growing strong and healthy. I have a few, and they are uh, legitimate. Which one is this? Oregon Jenner, really? They let the, they help plants grow more lush. Oh, very cool. I must try. Punisher Max, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, where will there be a comic stream in the future? For sure, there's going to be a comic stream in the future, but not in this set. Um, this set we're doing harvesting from our patio. We're doing current events tomorrow on Mathematics Monday. In the next set, most likely comic books and readings. Uh, but I'll give you guys updates on those uh, when we do. Then Payuki. Oi, mate, you got a license for that? We don't need a license in Canada. <laughs> the only license you need in Canada is to be a Canadian or living in Canada, landed immigrant. Rikers in Canada has some. Oh, I bought. I've bought from uh, Richter, Richter's. Uh, I bought uh, 
stuff from uh, Richter's before to Cheryl. They're really good. And a few independent seed sellers in the U.S. Yeah. You knew, you knew uh, Rick, uh, Richter's. They're based in Ontario. They're very good. My, I don't know if you can see it. You won't be able to see it. But I have a Datura plant growing there. Uh, Angel's Trumpet, really. And that's a seed I got from uh, uh, Richter's. Like, how many years ago? Wow, a long time ago. A long, 15 years ago or something like this. A super cool. Astro, nice. Thank you for the lead. In La Cache. In La Cache, friend. Ha ha. Yes, sir. They absorb the negative life force and transcends into positive life force. Awesome, awesome. I like Wilhelm Reich, man. There's a reason why Wilhelm Reich's books were the only books that I know of anyway that both Nazi Germany and the U.S. government burned. Just imagine the information contained in those books that both Nazi Germany and the U.S. government felt inclined to burn his books whoa right and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor two Cheryl, I love Rickers, Richters, and they ship most things to the U.S. They have a lot of beet uh, varieties they don't sell here. Really, I didn't know this. I I contacted them like it must be like 20 years ago now. Uh, first time I got in touch with them was like 20 years ago uh, when I got introduced to Salvia divinorum because at that time they were selling Salvia divinorum cuttings the wind the wind the wind heard us talking about salvia divinorum the wind the nose cheryl 100 percent my pleasure uh cheryl says bakul dada hemp is one of the most versatile plants similar league as a coconut in terms of every part of the plant can be put to practical use for humans really coconut too i didn't know that i i, I know hemp hemp is one of the top right there are some other plants as well that every part of them can be used maybe yeah where are you going oh check out the hops this is the hops we harvested last summer and this summer from what i understand i heard this from someone that if it gets really hot um the hop vines freeze they don't grow anymore so this year it got really hot so usually we have the hop vines they come up and i put a stick on the steps here that goes up and the vines go up and we harvest it with the vines with the flower hanging down okay uh, this year we got hit with a heat spell so it's stunted the growth of the hops so the hops are only on the steps so i'm gonna cut a cut a couple of the vines and bring you and show you and then later on i'm gonna harvest them and again we just harvest them take the flower it's very fluffy take the flower wash them and then lay them out to dry that's what we did and this stuff man it's so cushiony like right i don't know if it's gonna focus take a look right we made like this was full okay this is how much we harvested full we gave actually we, a little bit more we gave some away to someone okay and we've used a little bit to make tea the first time we made tea with this we put way too much in crazy bitter so if you're making tea all you need to do if you're making like black tea just grab like three or four and just throw them in the tea and let it uh simmer it gives it a bitter taste okay uh, but it's supposed to be really good for you supposed to be really good for you la my mother had a fee plants had a fee plants that were dying a few plants that were dying i put a, a bucket on them and uh, they started sprouting near uh, new leaves and branches even went from brown to green really you mean from the oregon 
So you built your own organ boxes? Ellie? So we just keep these in the cupboard. Whenever we want a little bit, we just put them in the tea. Okay. Hedgy. Sal. We want some. Oh, Sal. Elder. Go it, it, hedgy. Uh, Sal is in the bedroom with a cone on his head because he got fixed yesterday. Okay. And there was a problem with his tooth. So he had a tooth pulled yesterday. And when we brought him back home, by the way, today is Sal and Via's birthday. They're brothers. Today, they were born a year ago today. They're one year old. But yesterday, we took Sal to get fixed. Via goes next week. And when we brought him home, for five minutes, Via was okay. All of a sudden, Via turned on Sal and started chasing Sal and really was aggressive with Sal. Something spooked him. Uh, so we've been keeping them separate via was yelling and screaming all night last night because they were separate and whenever he sees sal he starts getting very angry and literally he wants to go kill him and sal right now he's he, he's been fixed he's had a tooth pulled he's got a cone on his head and the poor kitty cat last night via chased him and i chased him and i separated him and i put via out here and you know really uh, really calm Sal down right uh, they, <laughs> God. we had to do it they were starting to fight like literally uh, two three weeks ago Sal and Via were fighting and I thought it was it, it was just uh, artistic whatever you know whenever you've seen cartoons where there is two cats fighting you see things flying feathers and not feathers but fur and stuff flying with the two cats going like this three four weeks ago sal and via for a few days they were doing that and literally there was cat fur flying off of them uh, when they were fighting very aggressive right so we had to make an appointment to get it done because their hormones they they were like crazy aggressive uh, Val had scratched Sal across the eye going like this Sal had given so much like there was blood <laughs> so we're like okay you two need to calm the F down and uh, we need to do it we need to do it uh, otherwise they'll start spraying territorial right hops are LA hops are good for the uh nervous system really i didn't know that organite bucks organite bucks oh, you put them in the soil la if you're on our discord this is our discord please link us up we have a gardening folder uh, if you link up the information regarding how you can use a uh, wilhelm rice technique for gardening to help your plants i would love to try next year i would love to try next year <laughs> no name boy for how are you doing chicho have you ever dealt with the loss of a pet yeah yeah three years ago our kitty cat died my dog of 10 years died a few days ago and it truly feels like losing a close family for yeah brother or sister of course no name boy brother i guess uh yeah 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 four years ago i guess and it was and he, he was my partner's cat so i was i really liked him uh his name was cron he was a phenomenal cat really but i came in late into the game right i didn't see i didn't see cron as a kitten growing up like my attachment to these two kitty cats sal and via is through the roof i had no idea right so i don't want to think about that level but my condolences and what we ended up doing by the way no name boy we we're renting so we contacted the landlords and we asked them if it was okay to bury the kitty cat out out in the back backyard and they said for sure so we had a little ceremony and buried him in the backyard uh, but my condolences is devastating cheryl chicho probably smells the chem change from anesthesia yeah probably today too even today very aggressive very aggressive and the sounds he's making oof crazy like 
v oh yeah by the way uh three days ago unfortunately via caught a bird at our patio uh like we i set up the patio so they're indoor cats but the patio you know they they get exposed to nature and via caught a bird and via and sal ate the bird it's their first kill and they ate the bird so instinctually they're very uh they're very instinctive cats they're they're uh, like uh, my partner was saying usually uh, mother cats teach the baby cats kittens how to eat like that they have to eat the animals they kill these two mm, took off the feathers and ate it up the only thing left was i should have taken a picture i don't know why i didn't and i should have taken a picture of via with the bird in his mouth i didn't it was like oh my god <laughs> unfortunately poor birdie right um but at least they ate it up yum yum all right it was chaos feathers everywhere astro we let our hops uh follow uh, the house ladybugs over winter oh our hops die off in the winter we use some but the aphids were uh, pretty bad oh really cat cat tostrums on level sorted yeah like really these kitty cats are killers <laughs> these kitty sal and via they're they're fast agile and via is tankier heftier than sal sal is fast but via is like the tank people contradicting you to talk about people doing it to hey why so serious i never do it a third question you're going off again brother <laughs> sure that's awesome astro what uh, region are you in yeah what region if you don't mind me sharing what brand of wheat we got the uh, uh, pink kush growing uh, ladybug uh, cbd and i lost the marker for this thank you for the follows gang by the way and let me i'm gonna go get the uh joe when our cat catches a bird he often eats the feathers and then pukes on the kitchen floor 10 minutes later <laughs> gross <laughs> joe when our cat eats a mouse it always leaves the liver what it's poisonous to cats apparently serious what i didn't know this bakudada uh do you think backyard farms uh, managed by AI and robots will get more mainstream at end of this decade no no it's too early it's too early not acknowledging anything for a while again that's a very question <laughs> I hope you have a good day brother third poop pink kush ladybug cd all those sound amazing very good last year we grew uh, poison durban uh la confidential uh taxata time warp uh, those are the three that we grew last year this year we decided four different ones right let me show you the hops let me go cut the hops I'm just going to show you what they look like, okay? this is good watch this these are hops right and there's a whole bunch of vine it's just coming up the st uh, stairs so after the stream most likely because it's gonna rain today and uh, it's gonna rain for like three or four days so I gotta go harvest these today let me put on my glasses so I can read the chat take a look. so all you do is just take these off right give them a wash and lay them out to dry okay like that. Right. 
hops. This beautiful plant, beautiful flower. Does it have a smell? Very subtle. They look like grapes from afar. <laughs> yeah, just turned to green. <laughs> they do look like grapes. They, they just have a green smell to them, right? So super cool. Just gonna harvest a little bit, not too much. Well, actually, there isn't too much. Last year was every year has been huge. Uh, this year wasn't too much, right? So we're just gonna harvest that. There's a spider. See the spider? Where is it? Where does the spider go? There he is. Hey, where is he? Do you see him? Right there. There he is. Where'd he go? He's camera shy. Look at him. Where'd he go? There he is. Make a camera appearance. See? Cool. Let's put this here. Now. Here's our goodies so far. We're gonna harvest some. Yeah, let me put this here. I got a couple of scissors, okay, because one of them might get too gummy. But it's not too much uh, cannabis right now, so it shouldn't be bad. I'm gonna have some uh, quince jam, a couple of spoonfuls. Cheryl, oh my god, Chicho, I scored two quarts of local uh, Concord grapes and can't decide between the eight gajillion options for what to do with them they're fully ripe i don't want to make jelly so frozen frozen liqueur sure why not other ideas how come you don't want to make jelly with them um you could uh, this is one thing you can do cheryl is make concentrate uh, juice with them right so cook them up and then run them through a sieve once you cook them up, cook them up well, so all the skin sort of floats up top, and then um, run it through a sieve, so all the juice comes, in, you know, goes into a bowl, and then pour it into jars. If you can't seal it, that way you, if it depends how much you have. If you have how many? How much? Two quarts. Two quarts. Huh? You could put it in the fridge, and the and the concentrate juice will last at least two, three weeks right that's what i did with our grapes right so um i didn't make jelly from them that's i made concentrate juice and the and the pulp we ended up eating like uh on pancakes and with yogurt yeah I had yogurt in the pulp the skin um, and i added sugar of course right not enough for jelly I, I would do that maybe and frozen grapes amazing wash them and freeze them pop 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 so good quince quince jam is so unique so unique no seeds they're tiny little flavor bombs <laughs> nice <laughs> tiny little flavor bombs <laughs> this is like our little green grapes and, and by the way grapes keep for a long time in the fridge like we still have green green grapes that we're still eating uh, that we pick we're down to a little bit now and it's been almost a month they've been sitting in the fridge uh, to stay to stay healthy healthy <laughs> eat well raisins or sherbet oh nice i've been hiding them uh from the kiddo haha <laughs> okay gang let's do a little hemp harvesting not hemp cannabis check it out now again this is the one i don't know what it is right we got we got this one here is a uh, uh, pink kush and check out the flowers on it right the buds it's not ready yet I don't want to bend it too much. I don't want to break it. 
Like, <laughs> and this isn't even the tallest one, right? The tallest one is this one, and it's like crazy tall. Like, I'm not gonna uh, uh, bend it, right? Uh, this one is uh, uh, what was it called again? This one is love. This one is love bug. Thank you for the follows, gang. By the way, apologies if I'm not catching them all. More like a very happy lifestyle. <laughs> Your gut is your second brain. Yeah, I would say your gut should be your first brain. Really. Oi, boy. Is that, those are squirrel sounds, right? Cheryl. Those are squirrels going crazy, right? What are they doing? Are they fighting? Hello, hello, Tessar. Andra Tessar. Crazy squirrels prepping for conquest, prepping for conquest. Check this out. This one is the ladybug. This one's getting close, right? Uh, and this isn't the tall one. The tall one is, see this? This is the shortest branch of this. And there are multiple shoots going off of it, right? So this one is pretty good. This, this would be the smallest. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I wish it was going to be here sunny for another two weeks. This, these buds would fill in, right? Um, but hopefully I can cover them nicely so the rain doesn't um, destroy the flower because they're not ready to be picked yet. Okay. Squirrel battle. Squirrel battle. Mad at something. Maybe birds. Maybe. And there's raccoons here too. Uh, this summer, uh, at least twice... I've had to shoo away raccoons that were trying to get onto the patio, right? They've been going at it all day <laughs> since morning. One of them I saw standing on his, on one of the branches, just his tail going. Pow. Every time you heard the, the sound, his tail would go. Oh, oh, oh. Crazy, crazy. This one over here is CBD, and this isn't ready either, right? Take out this one. And this is almost as big. This one didn't grow as tall, right? But this one we're gonna take down. Let me pull it over. Make myself some room. Let me close the tobacco here. Let me make myself some room. Astro, sadly, we lost our 18-year-old grapevine. Oh, due to hail a couple of years ago. Oh, no. However, all the seeds we were uh, spitting out blessed us with some more young vines that established themselves near the big sandstone rod. Nice. So how to tell when they're ready. You know when they're ready? When about 50% of the bud uh, 40 to 60 percent so 50 percent of the bud goes brown so you want it to be brown so ch check it out we have how many buds here one two three four five and this is the smallest plant that we have as you can tell <laughs> by the size of it the other ones are pulling down this one's like <laughs> this is it <laughs> poor little guy <laughs> right so let me bring this over here i'll show you right Actually, I don't want to cut the whole thing because we hang them. I, I'm going to hang dry them. So here, let me cut it here. Boop. Right? So when we take off the main, I forget what these guys are called. Uh, I have a string set up in one of the rooms and we're just going to hang it and let it hang dry. Right? And I'll show you that, uh, what do you call it? The brownness of the bud, right? Of the hairs intrepid how are you doing hey chicho hope all is well with you doing fantastic harvesting some bud <laughs> chicho gonna smoke up not today this is gonna dry <laughs> which sci-fi film bakudana do you think has given closest idea of our dystopian future a brazil brazil uh comes to mind uh 
animal form comes to mind. Um, what was that the recent one called the trilogy where there's different cities working on hunger games comes to mind uh, children of God comes to mind uh, 1984 comes to mind Gattaca in a way more uh, way, way more uh, less horror horrifying uh, version comes to mind What's your preferred way to ingest if you catch your vaporizing? Vaporize. Vaporize. Tassar, how hard is it to grow cannabis plant? There's a reason why they call cannabis weed. It grows like weed. And weed grows everywhere and you don't have to do you, you don't have you barely have to do anything to it. Right? Equilibrium. Equilibrium, yeah. And equilibrium is uh, I was thinking about that elder god. Equilibrium is the one with the guns. They're doing the gung gung fu, right? Fantastic movie, city states, but that's way less uh, horrifying than what this is right now, right? Astro, two most common ways are when the hairs turn color to about fifty to sixty percent, or use a magnifying lens, or uh, jeweler's uh, loop. To look at the tie tie crop tie tie when they turn about 60% milky color they are close to harvest 60% yeah. yeah so this is this might be a little bit too young to harvest you know it's about 30 40% I guess but we we're doing a stream it's about to rain so we're gonna do right so what I'm gonna do and what I do basically I take off these bigger guys first right so you take off these bigger guys okay these guys and we've been keeping these right so these big guys and they they come off the bottom right it's like uh, well I like this like this guy here right you take off these big guys okay so take these guys off first now I'm not gonna do it on top of this computer is here I'm just gonna pull back a little bit and do it here okay and a lot of people would cut these because it's easier to handle but I'm just gonna do this okay Joe Chicho just finished reading Animal Farm about to start 1984 nice I'll uh, watch the animation animal form super good so when 50% of the hairs are brown yeah basically street view okay so take a look this is what it looks like right now and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like once I finish trimming it down right and I'm one of the ones that leaves a lot of the big leaves around it I, some people trim it all the way down take off all the big leaves I don't because when I hang it the leaves enclose the bud and the crystal stay there so because I'm not selling it it's for my own use right uh, Tesser any tips uh, feed them organic food give them put them in big pots okay uh, they need Sun give them good Sun okay uh, love them care for them uh, appreciate what what it is right and grow a variety don't grow one type because you might uh, not you know there's different varieties so I would say grow multiple varieties one of the reasons is because you get used to you get used to a certain bud so it's good to change it up and sometimes if you don't like a certain bud you get a different one try the other one right ideally I want a shorter scissor it gives me more control right but this is good enough 
And you don't want to handle the bud too much because it's sticky. Right? If you're doing a lot, some people wear gloves, but you really don't want to because what you want to do is, if you do a lot, then your hands get sticky. You can do like this and get your uh, bubble hash from it. Like, uh, I forget what it's called, but you get your uh, little round thing of uh, you know what I'm not going to trim this down too much more This is good enough for me because this is a little guy, right? So I'm just going to trim it to here. Watch this, All right? It's pretty loose. It's not dense, bud. Right. Beautiful. Check out this one. That's the big one. See that? It smells amazing. Very, uh, it's got a, like it's sticky, it smells fantastic. So take a look at this one. We're gonna trim this one right now, right? And you don't want to accidentally cut off a bud, right? So take your time. Just enjoy the process. Here, I'll show you. Nah, I've done this before. <laughs> But slow mo. Some people I know done. Done. The professionals. I'm a hobbyist. It's a great hobby to have. You can think of it as growing money in your backyard. You can take a look. So we trimmed it down from there. I got a couple of other big ones to do. But what I'm gonna do now is, is just take off some of the greens on there, right? Not too many, but some. Okay. Astro Chicho, do you hang the bud upside down in paper bag to cure them for first stage of dry? No, not in the paper bag, just hang them. And then once it's all, once you can break the stem to a certain degree right we put them in paper bags and then we put them in jars and burp them every day or two okay in the first stage we don't put them in paper bags That's good enough. Take a look. I'm okay with that. Nice. 
and then we're going to take this one take a look at this one now if they were growing more sometimes if you're lucky the big big pots are in the ground this whole thing would be a bud right Start off with the big white, big guys first. Take those ones down. And then you can look at it this way. Take a look. <laughs> it doesn't want to focus. I'm like, Chicho, what's going on? I forgot your climate there, Astro says, Chicho, I forgot your climate there is much more humid than here in Calgary. Oh yeah, you're in Calgary indeed. We actually have to slow down the drying process here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, ours doesn't uh, require, uh, Calgary is dry, Calgary is dry. What's up, what's up, cyanide for dinner? How are we doing? Long time, long time. Let's take these down. I'm just gonna trim it like this. It smells amazing. Really, it smells really good. <laughs> that's good really some people would trim it way more than this right do any of your students follow you uh, i don't know what's straight this one i can't remember what it is i got a feeling it's cpd as well but it might not be we lost the tag for it <laughs> the kitty cats were playing in the pots and they lost the tag but we do have pink kush on this one this is pink kush this is uh ladybug 
and that one is CBD this one here smells delightful 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 and what we're gonna do is just hang it like this right and just let it dry and it's it shrinks when it dries right here. I'm just gonna hang it here for now because we gotta do this one too let's do this one Take it off. Beautiful. All right. Only one way to find out if it's CBD. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's trim. Let's take this down. V is totally passed out. You hear those drops? That's from a huge oak tree. We got the nuts, oak nuts, dropping. When the bud in the bottom is growing that you can't reach the stem the bottom of the stem of the big parts the, these leaves it's good it means the buds are glow, growing into each other which is what you want or what i want anyway give it a little Just getting rid of some of the green. Ooh, windy storm is coming. I gotta protect these guys so they don't get wet. this guy trimmed nice when you're gonna be a barber uh, only trim ganja lady K I just said hello to you sir lady K astral sweet lady K is a DJ I've seen Lady K multiple times. Lady K1 just said hello to you, sir. Lady K1, where's Lady K1? Lady K1, hello, hello. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to a live stream from the west coast of Canada. From the island. I think you've been here. <laughs> Lady K1 is your wife. What? Okay, there's a Lady K DJ. Is Lady K DJ your wife? Astro? If not, I think you guys might like Lady K's uh, sets. Great music. I'm pretty sure her name is Lady K. By the way, Astro, you guys are in Calgary, right? Lady K in Calgary? Hello, Lady K.
different caster, Chicho. Different Lady K. Different Lady K. Okay. But accidentally. Oops. Oops. We're gonna put this over here so we don't lose it. Let's put it with these guys. That's the difference between a hobbyist and a professional. Really, you need shorter scissors. These are a little too long. Well, a lot too long, really. And when you're trying to looking for the stems, you look at it this way, you see the big guys hanging out, right? And you look for the bottom parts of it, and you go boop. And then when you can't reach the ones that are the stems, you just take off the greens. I do anyway, sort of. Not too much. We do want the greens to hold on to the crystals. So they encompass, sort of close down on the crystals and the crystals stay on the bud. They become more potent to a certain degree. Just a little bit. These guys, you can keep, some people keep these. We still have some from last year, so. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for this one. Take a look. Right. Which is good. With the leaves, uh, some people do juicing, some people cook with them, right? Some people, um, you cook them up in uh, butter, so it gets whatever, like there is THC in this a little bit, in the littler guys anyway that I've been trimming from the close. Uh, so, you know, you get it out with, uh, with, uh, with oil, because you need oil to get it out. Uh, it sticks to the oil. Right, uh, oil soluble is that what you call it? But uh, for us, we really haven't done anything with them. Some people juice them, like you throw them and they drink green juice. Uh, we haven't done that either. It's supposed to be super healthy for you. Um, that's all I know. This is good. So I'm gonna hang this guy here too. Take a look. So this is what we got off one plant, which is very little. This is a small plant, right? Okay. Like this would be dried maybe, like probably half an ounce, <laughs> not much. <laughs> not much.
And then the the scissors get all gooky. Take a look. Let's see if it's gonna focus. I don't think so. It's just too. See that? It's gooky, right? And you can scrape this off with a knife and it does, it's sticky, right? And what I did, I wasn't sh sure how much we we're gonna harvest. You need oil to get rid of the stickiness. So this is just coconut oil. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit. I usually use olive oil, but we're out of olive oil. I think coconut oil should work. So when your hands get sticky from uh, trimming, you don't, uh, hot water and soap doesn't do anything. You need oil to get the THC stuck to it. Okay. So you really don't even need to, uh, you just get the, boop, and the stickiness goes. So the oil grabbed it, right? Uh, Tessar, Chicho, I just wanted to tell you, you have awesome content. It is something unusual and I really like it also. <laughs> it uh, gains some knowledge just from watching a few minutes awesome glad you're enjoying it glad to be sharing man this is what the internet is for me uh, internet for me is for us humanity to share information uncensored our loves our passions to share information without gatekeepers end of story anybody that wants to censor the internet can kiss my ass they are an enemy to humanity so I'll try to share as much as I can, man, for as long as possible. Eduardo, my brother once brought some weed and the seller ripped them off. Oh, bought some weed and the seller ripped them off. Inside the plastic were only leaves, old leaves of bad weed. Oh, no. That was loud. Oh, man. Worst joint I ever smoked. You still smoked it, though. Eh? Hilarious. Shrimp, seriously, sash best part of uh, wet trim scissor hash haha <laughs> indeed indeed i'm gonna allow that lush uh luption or orn for some reason well wet trim i think uh the auto mod didn't like it uh, on uh, on twitch so we had to allow that <laughs> and on your fingers if you do a lot you, you get really sticky and you go like this you get little balls of trim hash i guess is that what we were calling it this is scissor hash and tri uh, finger hash, finger hash, right? Which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. See, no more sticky. The oil got it. And I got a little water here. I can just dunk my hand in water, wet, dry it up, and you're clean, right? And you're clean. That was our harvest for today. I'm gonna do a little bit more harvesting and get some hops um, off the vine, so we have a little bit more hops that we can use up not too much i mean we still have a fair bit left uh, but it's nice to have that you can just say you have hops which is fantastic fantastic really right this stream is not endorsing cannabis it's purely for information purposes indeed indeed this is an educational channel and we're just sharing information of growing um, your own fruits and vegetables and greens and herbs on your in your garden if it happens to be a patio we're in a patio right we got our vegetables going we got some hops harvested tobacco harvested cannabis harvested um, we've had zucchinis here what else what else what else um, we got uh, gooseberries uh, the uh, black currants raspberries strawberries grapes uh, just goodness goodness to feed us right harvested some quince from from a few blocks away and made some quince jam so delicious wow 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 and the quince for the seeds of the quince dry the seeds keep the seeds if you get chest in, in uh, congestion you pour hot water on the seeds just pour some in a in a in a cup put some hot water 
uh, some seeds in the cup, put some hot water on it, mix it around, let it sit for a bit. It becomes gelatinous and drink the gelatin slowly or with a spoon sip it. It's supposed to be good for your chest. It has helped me. Okay. Die. The king stay the king. The king stay the king. Plants can be very uh, frightening for some people. Kiwis, for example, give me the heebie-jeebies, do they? Is the hairiness of them? I've never had a kiwi plant. I've never met a fruit I don't like. <laughs> Angie, I love how you have transformed your patio patio into a small forest. Nice. Me too. I love it. The kitty cats absolutely love it. It's this this year's patio was awesome. Really, we did well. We didn't get as much uh, of uh, lettuce. Lettuce, we didn't get too much. We didn't get barely got any lettuce. Now, for some reason, we just didn't plant it properly. The grapes had taken over. I like the grapes. So certain things we got more of, certain things we got less of. But fantastic. Lupshorn, and Chicho, do you leave uh, your buds dry hanging right here, or move them? No, I'll move them inside for sure. I'm thinking of buying a tent for drying, but not sure. Yeah, we just take them inside, and I have a string set up, and we just hang them there, and they just dry slowly i have a, a per pp permanent partner zambition z zambition z sparkle rock on dude <laughs> nice thanks <laughs> super delicious ambitious works ambitious awesome awesome Thanks for popping into our stream, Ambitious. Where's my tea? Tea. Salute, gang. Permanent partner. Ma pee pee. <laughs> I like that. Thanks. We do as well. We do as well. We do as well. It's awesome. It's awesome. Intrepid, Chicho. How long do you let your butts hang to dry? It really depends. Um, I like for example this one i would that would let them hang to dry until i go to the stem and i twist it and if it you hear the crack sound then i take the buds off and put them in a bag basically and then let it sit in the bag let it dry a little bit more and then put them in a jar and then every day or every second day burp the jar for probably a month right burp it Smith, the man, the legend. How are you doing? Where you been, or am I just missing your stream? I haven't been streaming for two weeks. We took a two-week break, just me dealing with uh, picking up students um, with the new school season starting, and I really wanted to cut out a lot of segments to load up uh, to give people my take, my opinion, where I stand regarding what's happening in the world right now i think it's important to stand on the right side of history uh, because it's important to stand on the right side of history otherwise you look back on your life and you realize you might have been a piece of shit and it's not a good idea so you really want to make sure you stand on the right side of history that way you can put your head down at night and sleep and say you did all you could for humanity right tell mo 250 dude that's cool thanks Peepik, permanent partner in crime. Haha. <laughs> Pee -pee, I see. Haji, two weeks since last stream. Two weeks, two weeks. Been a while. Been a while. I think it's almost two weeks. It must be two weeks. Are those tomatoes back there? Yeah, those are tomatoes. Those are tomatoes. We have a whole bunch of them inside. And these ones. Yeah, we have some down here too. Tomatoes. You can harvest them when they're green too we have a whole bunch over here too there's lots of green ones so just we're gonna eat tomatoes fresh tomatoes for at least another month which is great they look ripe from for the picking some some we can they do get riper 
trying to find one to eat right now. But they're not ripe enough to eat. We've got little guys too, the little cherry tomatoes. Like these are little cherry tomatoes. Right? Let's see if you can see them. Right? The Davis. Davis. One, two, three. Chicho, how can you keep away bugs and pests from fruit trees? Uh, I don't know. We haven't had too many bug problems. We did the. Uh, uh, we have some zucchinis here and the zucchinis got hit with uh, black aphids black aphids are pretty bad uh, the good thing with black aphids is it's really too easy to see them so when they, the branches that got hit with black aphids i would just cut them and throw them away that's that was my way of dealing with the pests and they didn't spread which was great smith these tomatoes uh they're, they're pests on the island i didn't see anything about them yeah, but aphids, you can get aphids and spider mites and stuff like that for sure. Well, let's wait till they just, right, yeah, just get them ripe and nice, right, before eating the tomatoes. Some of them, when the wind picks up, they fall down, right, and I pick them and put them inside, and they're green and they slowly ripen, right? And I've never made fried green tomatoes, but I've heard they're supposed to be super delicious, so we will at some point gang let's call it a stream let's call it a stream very very nice stream very nice stream thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed it uh if you're up for more streams we're doing one tomorrow 9 a.m my time pacific time west coast canada united states current events politics economics personal finance and what's going on in the world right geopolitics indeed as well right and on monday we're doing a drop in math tutoring session, our first one for this school year, starting at 2 p.m., I believe, my time. Okay. So, yeah, come here. Come on. Yeah, what is it? Via woke up. He's so... <laughs> Sal, you could pick him up and go like this, and he's like, "Yeah, I enjoys it." Via's like, "Okay, let me go now." Right? And there he goes on his patio, catio. I built this thing for it. This is actually a friend of mine built the bottom, the top. I put on, so sort of built them a catio, put chicken wire around us so they feel comfortable, and uh, they just go up there and chill, right? <laughs> Goodbye, Chicho. <laughs> the Davis I found you on YouTube your math playlist helped me a lot uh, I'm in 11th grade taking uh, pre-calc awesome awesome I'm glad they're helping you out man edgy great stream and it's actually 19 days since last stream 19 days wow two and a half weeks crazy crazy time flies time flies gang thank you for being here stream tomorrow stream Monday and then we'll probably announce another set or at least i'll do one off and then we'll get into the full sets aside from that let me move over here Oop. there is via and if you want to know what this work is about cheryl <laughs> nice i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho thank you for the follow inhale uh, and everyone else we are on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about which is basically layered on mathematics patreon is a great way to follow the work and support the work for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e La lazy panda 77 thank you very much for the twitch prime sub for those of you that are following this work on twitch for supporting this work on twitch for being here participating in the discussion thank you for the support gang and mods thank you for taking care of business we do now see these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gap parlor bitcloud and getter and we do have a discord page where there's a few hundred people discord 
sharing information you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want in the chat type in exclamation one discord and the invite will be there and the links will be in the description of this video after the live stream and during the live stream and the twitch page it's there okay so you're definitely welcome to join us there and participate in the discussion for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play you got 855 people on discord Woo-hoo. take care everyone have a great weekend the black tri star says and gang we will be uploading this live stream to sensor tube to pitch to rumble and to odyssey if you want to follow all of our content you want to be sub to pitch rumble and odyssey and turn on your notifications there sensor tube some people get notifications majority people don't and we are not uploading everything to sensor tube because the sensors will not allow us to do so okay so tomorrow's live stream will not be on sensor tube it'll be just a two minute intro pointing to the video on bitchut rumble and odyssey okay aside from that gang took a look at the discord data looking good for growth indeed indeed free speech zones looking good for growth gang i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m for current events if you can make it or monday at 2 p.m for mathematics if you can make it aside from that maybe see you on discord bye everyone